wearing my glasses like this because if I do it like that, you can't see my eyeballs. Today, we're doing a St. Patrick's Day date. So we're about to go out to the store to get the things we need for the date, but we're going to make a traditional Irish dish. So excited. We're going to make an Irish mocktail because we don't drink alcohol. And then we're going to watch Irish movies. I've got options. We'll I guess. see later. You'll see later. And we're going to learn an Irish jig. Is that everything? Did yeah, we've, it all? <laughs> yeah okay. those are the activities we've never been on like an Irish St. Patrick's Day Leprechaun's Day date before and I really wanted to celebrate this year and so we're gonna go yeah. all out. Let's go to the store. <laughs> Gotta get you oh. in the spirit. <laughs> wow. Do I look Irish now? So Irish. <laughs> We're back from the grocery store. Oh, hello. <laughs> and we are ready to start cooking. We're gonna start making this around lunchtime. It's already like 1.30, so I'm pretty hangry. But we're starting off with our traditional Irish meal. We're making Irish sausages and champ, I think. Or do you think it'd be champ? I don't know. It's spelled like champ. I don't, I feel like champ would be a French thing to do. The champ is like, mashed potatoes and scallions. Unfortunately, we couldn't actually find uh, Irish sausages. So the closest thing we thought to it were German, German sausages. sausages. But we have no idea if that's actually As long as it's a pork substitute. sausage, it works. So my prep station is potatoes. I'm gonna Ooh. peel and chop them. And Spencer's working on the onion and the scallions. Typically growing up every year, my family would go all out for St. Patrick's Day just because we like to go all out for holidays and it was just a fun thing to which do. Which is a stark contrast to my family because we do almost nothing for St. Patty's Day. Oh, we went all out. We would make leprechaun traps. We would have our own traditional Irish meal. We would make corned beef and cabbage. We'd watch our Irish leprechaun movies. We would wear green unless you wanted to be pinched. And then we wake up in the morning to discover our leprechaun traps to see if we caught a leprechaun. Most of the time we didn't, but they always left behind gold or sparkles or chocolates or something like that. And they always played pranks on us. We would wake up and we'd have like green mustaches and unibrows on us and things written on the mirrors and like little leprechaun footprints around the house. Dang. And then on the table we would have like Lucky Charms and a bunch of like cute little fun green snacks. Dang, bro. I know, it was so fun. Those are like some of my fondest memories. It's just like random holidays and all the fun things that we did to celebrate. So anyways, I'm so excited to try this. I've never tried Irish sausages and champ before. So I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be a very hearty meal. Let me know what you guys do if you celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Have you tried this meal before? And all the things. Update time on cooking. I'm working on making the mashed potato mix, I guess. I chopped and peeled those potatoes that you guys saw earlier and I just put them in the pot right here. Spencer has the sausage going and the smells in here. Making me even more hungry now. Thank goodness for Spencer because he took on the very daunting task of chopping the full huge onion plus the green onion scallions. Is there a difference between green onion and scallions? Because I've always thought they were the same thing. And let's add in our little mixture for when the potatoes are done and we're gonna mash it all together. Also, while we've been cooking and driving around town to pick up the ingredients, we've been listening to Irish music and it's been so fun. A lot of it is sea shanties which I love good sea shanty, but I didn't know that most of it was Irish. So we made our first mistake. <laughs> um, I guess we were supposed to remove the casings off of these sausages before we cooked them, which we definitely did not do, and they sounded like they were going to explode. Google says generally for German sausages, you take the casings off, I think, because it's, too chewy. Well, my thing over here also is not looking good. It is not blending together. So 
That's fun. I'm assuming it'll fix itself once the mashed potatoes are added, but yeah, this is what my mixture looks like. While the potatoes are boiling, the sausage is cooking, we're gonna move on to making our Irish drink, which is not a mocktail. It's a punch. And I think originally it's an alcoholic punch, but this one's not. So, is that a mocktail? Mocktail punch. <laughs> it's called Magic Green Lantern Irish Punch. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, is it actually Irish or is it just like Irish oh, theme? Yeah. You know, like, is it American made and we just call it Irish or is it like actually Irish? I don't, I don't know. know. If you are from Ireland, let us know if this is something you drink or if this is just something America has made to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. If you live in Ireland, do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day or is it like literally an American holiday that we just do? I've heard both. Okay, we are gonna start on the drink and I already messed up. It literally would not be an Audrey cooking, bake off, anything kind of video without some sort of tragedy. We bought one lime for this. And as I was reading the instructions, I was like, okay, I need to slice the lime for garnish. I was like, oh, it's just presentation. So I sliced the whole lime for garnish and I was like, whatever we don't use, I'll just eat because I'm crazy and I just will eat lemon slices and lime slices. <laughs> but apparently you needed half of lime. You needed an ounce of lime juice. And I did not squeeze lime juice, so we're gonna substitute the lime for the lemon and it's gonna be what it is. First off, we're starting off with our lime sherbet. Is it sherbet or sorbet? And what is the difference? A half a cup of sugar. Add that in. I feel like I'm doing a smoothie challenge right now, but it's actually gonna turn out good, hopefully. And then we need a cup of water. And then we need to add in the lime juice. It calls for an ounce, but I don't have anything to measure fluid ounces in. So Alexa, she said that it equals two tablespoons. The potatoes just go right into here, right? I think so, then you gotta mash them. All right, so that's one, two. All right, now I think it's time to blend. Um, I might have gone that all of your phone, Spencer, I'm sorry. Bruh. That looks sweet. Then I'm adding it in to our punch bowl. And then we're gonna add in two liters of lemon lime drink, which is Sprite. <laughs> Fun fact, every time I visit Europe, which has not been like, it's not a regular thing, but I've been like two or three times. <laughs> um, the first time I went, I asked at a restaurant for lemonade. Little do I know, lemonade is not a big thing there, and they gave me Sprite. So just a heads up, if you're ever gonna travel to Europe, Sprite is their equivalent of lemonade. They also don't have ranch or ice, don't even ask, I tried. This looks so yum. Oh, food is finally done. I this am looks so, so hungry. Good. It looks so good. Let us show you what it looks like. Oh yeah, buddy. So we got our sausage right here. We've got the gravy, the mashed potatoes. Time to pour our drinks and our lovely themed cups. So fun fact, Spencer actually has a lot of ancestors that come from Ireland. And I thought I never had Irish blood in me. I knew that I was mostly Scottish from some other parts of Europe. But recently I found out that I do have a little bit of Irish too. Oh. So that's kind of fun. Let's take a sip of our drink first. We gotta do a cheers. Oh. Ooh. That is so good. That's really good. You can taste the ice cream, like the creaminess of the ice cream with the lime. Yep. Well, let's try our main meal. I love mashed potatoes. That's my favorite part of Thanksgiving. So I have high expectations of this. This gravy took a long time to- It took so long. So I hope this gravy is really good. I want to cut off like a little piece of sausage and eat the sausage, the sausage with, with the potatoes and the gravy all at once. So. Ready? Okay. Yep. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. That's really good. The mashed potatoes. So yum. The sausage. So good. The sauce is interesting. I don't know what's in the sauce. It's kind of like a little zinginess. What is it? Well, <laughs> I wonder if you're tasting the Coke. Oh, maybe. In our recipe, it asks for like beer to go in 
Yeah. But we substitute it with Coca Cola. That's so what maybe Google said. Maybe. Google said Coke could be a substitute. So, is this the best meal you've ever had? Um, Spencer said right before trying, he's like, this better be the best meal I've ever had in my life. And then immediately I backtracked and was like, okay, that's probably too high of expectations. It's pretty darn good. I don't know that I'd call it like the best thing I've ever had. But so to be young. fair, I don't even know what I would call the best thing I've ever had. Well, this is very young. We are gonna eat our plate and we're gonna be so full. I'm gonna want it up. I know, already know it. We gotta <laughs> jig, our, <laughs> jig our lunch off. <laughs> we do, we gotta jig our lunch off after this. We're gonna learn a little Irish jig. So hopefully we don't barf from all the food jiggling around. <laughs> it's time to learn our Irish dance lesson. We're gonna be following Tyler Schwartz's dance, beginner soft shoe jig. But before we do that, I have props for us, Spencer. Close your eyes. You have to look the part if you're gonna act the part. This one is for you. Oh, that's not so bad. That's cute. <laughs> so cute! <laughs> I was born ready for this. One of my best friends from high school, she knows how to Irish dance. And she's also lived in Ireland for a couple months. She told me, like she showed me before, it's all in the footwork. Your hands the whole time, they stay down at your side like this. In the fist? Yeah, it's all the footwork apparently. Never done this before, but I have done tap, and I do have tap shoes, but I think Irish dance shoes are slightly different. Okay, let's do this. Today, I am teaching you the beginner jig. We're going back to basics. We are learning the very back first step basics. that you would learn. I tend to dance in my socks a lot, and I yes. wouldn't recommend that. Um, one, two, three, and two, two, three, and three, two, three, and four, two, three, and five, two, three, and six, two, three, seven, two, three, and eight, two, three. You have a right foot in place, right foot in front, left foot in back, toe to heel. And we're going to start with a big jump off two feet, landing on two feet. Jump. There we go. We're going to hop again on our left foot, and as we do that, we're going to pull our front right leg up and bring it, our knee up and our toe to our knee. Okay, so we're gonna go jump, jump knee. Can you see this? Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm all right. So we're doing that. This is a workout. You're gonna the knee out here, you want that in line Straight. with your belly button right there. So two feet, up knee, and then hop back. We're gonna place it behind us. Jump, jump back. Okay. Jump, jump back. Five, six, seven, eight. Jump. Up knee, Jump. hop back. back. We're gonna put our weight on our back foot. And we're gonna go two, three, four. We put all our weight onto our left leg at the finish. Two, three, and jump. Up knee, hop back. Two, three, four. Let's try two in a row. Ready? Two, three, and jump. Up knee, hop back. Two, three, four. Jump. Jump together, up knee, up, hop, hop back. back, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna Saturday keep learning and do a performance for you at the end. Feet. We're so ready for our performance. So sweaty, okay. We are sweating in here. <laughs> also, apparently we're not supposed to wear socks, but it's what it we're anyway. wearing. We're baddies. Okay. Five, six, seven. Dancing. So, I'm so bad at it. We are so cringe, but I, we learned a new skill. I'm, I'm impressed now because uh, I always thought like, oh, those jigs, they don't look that hard. Very difficult. Very, very difficult. Uh, I have like no footwork skills. That was fun. Now it's time to watch our movie of the night. All right. Let me show you the options. Option number one, Darby O'Gill and the Little People. This one I, wow. I I remember slightly. And then our second option is the Gnome Mobile. Um, aren't these the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang Kids? Chitty Bang Bang Kids. Doesn't surprise me because that one says it's a Walt Disney movie. So this one I remember. I think I remember this oh, one more than the other one. Disney movies. So which one would you rather watch? Let's do the Gnome Mobile. This one? Oh yeah. Okay. Gnome Mobile. Let's see if it's in there. <gasps> 
I think I you broke just, it. <laughs> yeah, you just demolished <laughs> the case. Is it because it's stuck oh, together? No, it has like safety oh. flaps. What? Why does it have those? Well, movie cases had some of those. Well, we don't have movie cases nowadays. This is so outdated. Okay, let's put this in our Xbox. Spencer has his punch from being parched after the Irish jig. And we we swapped, we decided to swap movies because I think this one's a little bit more St. Patrick's Day themed. And we both forgot how movies back then had menus. <laughs> Yeah. So you can click play movie, set up scene selections, and bonus features. And you want to just hum what it sounds like? There's music going on right now, but I muted it. I was like, something like Yeah, it's just like that. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. We'll see if my uh, memory comes back. I just have like faint memories of watching these and being like, what? I was so confused. All right, we'll give you our thoughts after the show. Whoa. DVD! That's a throwback. <laughs> That's a throwback. Man. <laughs> I don't know, I watched like movies that had these kinds of uh, <sighs> menus and stuff since I was like, I don't know, what, 10 maybe? Probably. Here we go. That was weird. What did we watch? I don't know. <laughs> I fell asleep at I some point. I fell asleep point. too. Like, I don't know if it was authentic Irish accents or if it was just acting, <sighs> but like, I couldn't understand what the heck they were saying, so I couldn't really track what was happening. No, it definitely needed subtitles because I, like 90% of the time, no idea what they were saying. I could not follow along with the story. I don't. I couldn't even tell you what happened. Yeah, <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't get it. But what's funny is like right after the main screen, the audio was so quiet. So they I had to crank. It up. We had to crank up our TV to the max. And then as soon as the movie <laughs> ended, the tile screen came on again. It was so loud. This is Spencer's review of the movie. Yawn fest. I was bored. So it I was made asleep. in 1959. 59. It's an interesting one. Let me know if you've ever even heard of that movie. If you've seen it, please tell me what it was about. Actually, our favorite quote was Smile, my darling. Smile. <laughs> and she literally like said it like that. It was so weird. There's so, so many weird, weird moments. That's where we're going to end our St. Patrick's date night. That was That's fun. That was fun. I. I think my favorite part was obviously eating the food. Food was really good. Jig was really hard and movie was really boring. So <laughs> yeah, shopping and doing the food was the best part for food. <laughs> <laughs> well, let us know how you're celebrating St. Patrick's Day this year if you celebrate it. And thanks for watching. Give us some future date night ideas of what you'd like us to see us do. Subscribe if you're new. And another yawn for you. Why do I keep yawning? I'm not that tired. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>